Hi, my name is Jennifer Lynn Dick and I'm a former dancer with the Derosier Dance Theatre. I was with the company through the 1990s and into the 2000s a little bit. Right now I'm at York University completing an MA. My focus is in history because afterwards I want to write a history of the Derosier Dance Theatre. I first saw Robert when I was at Quebec des Danses in 1982. I had been there for the summer school and um, I loved ballet but I couldn't see myself having a future as a ballerina in a, in a ballet company. I knew that there was something different that I wanted to do and uh, as part of the, um, the summer we would go see these performances of the artists in residence and that summer was Robert de Rosier, Edward Locke, Jeanette Laurent, Paul André Fortier. It was an amazing summer to see the growth of um, contemporary dance in Canada and be there at its early incubating stages. And so they would have these performances and I remember the curtain opened up and there was Robert with a little hat and a little accordion and a cow slung on his back and he started to dance in a way that I had never seen before. It was clearly technical and uh, had a ballet bass but it was really acrobatic and uh, exciting and I wanted to do that. During the 1990s, we had uh, several seasons at the Premier Dance Theatre. Sometimes in a year we would have two seasons. And that spoke to the kind of audience that Robert drew in. People were attracted to Robert because he had this um, magnetism, this energy that um, lived in every fiber of his being. He, he was, his creations were of his imagination and his imagination is what created him and therefore he could do fantastic feats of dance. And we all wanted to do that. Um, we studied and we trained with him in order to understand what it was about his dancing that made it so special. We used a lot of effort when for him it wasn't uh, wasn't quite as difficult. And in in studying uh, through Leban analysis, what Robert has um, is called flow, and um, it made uh, a distinct difference in his signature of style. My focus is in the embodied archive and the relationship between the dancer and the choreographer. And I want to study what was unique about Robert and his, um, his technique, his style, his signature, that thing that made his material and his choreography uh, risky. And on top of that risk, he threw in the most amazing theatrical... Um, costumes and imaginative situations that would be carved in space uh, with sets and props and um, whatever was in his devising. When you're with Robert you feel like you are um, the only person in his world. He's, uh, when he speaks to you he, he has that energy that he throws out around you and he envelops you and speaks to you into your deeper self. The self that you compose of yourself and he joins with that composition of you and him. And as dancers, uh, to be a part of that in the studio where you compose this, this uh, movement idea that comes from both of you was really exciting because you didn't know what you would come up with. And uh, it was a different way of working.